Money Sign Eric here, and I am a creature of habit. Every day I wake up at 1 p.m., get out of bed, and I start my day. Then I gotta walk my dogs Terry and Yaki. <laughs> you look so stupid. <laughs> Why do you look at the camera like that? And just like that, my day is over. So what else do I do for the rest of the day? I could play Valorant. I could spend money on a parlay that's never going to hit. I could also go to the gym. I could even get a job. <laughs> One thing that I'm definitely going to do today though is eat food. Like I said, I am a creature of habit. I like to eat the same foods over and over again. I don't get sick of it, but that doesn't really make for an exciting video, which is why in today's video, I am going to be eating at New York City restaurants that you guys recommend to me. There were a lot of you guys that replied, some replies weren't as great as some others, but eventually we did find three restaurants that we decided to go to. So let's get started. The first restaurant that we're going to is Kong Sik Tong. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly. I looked it up, I can't get it down, but it is a Hong Kong cafe in Chinatown. Amy Lightful on Instagram says, please try the golden lava toast, chicken wing, and beef chow fun. My childhood. Amy Lightful, thank you for the recommendation. We'll be trying the food soon. It took us 40 minutes to get seated for a table of four. So this place better be good. First thing we got are the chicken wings in the grapefruit honey sauce. Yeah, I'm a fan. It's good. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> Thank you. We got our drinks. This is the mango smoothie, and she's having a pretty good reaction to it. It's good. Hong Kong style iced tea, iced milk tea. French fries. This is the golden lava French toast. And then these are peanut butter rice cakes, rice rolls. Apparently this is really good. I think we probably should have gotten this for dessert, but I just got it. Oh my God, what? Is that custard inside? Yes. Bro, oh my God. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my God, what the? The custard on this, delicious. I can confidently say that's the best French toast I've ever had in my life. So good recommendation. I haven't even had the rest of the meal, but yeah, I'd come here just for the French toast. It's so fire. Apparently the mango smoothie is really good, so. Yo. Oh. <laughs> I'm getting one. There's no way I'm not getting that. That is so refreshing. I can't get the flavor out of my mouth, the mango smoothie. Carbonara, and then the beef chow fun. This is the last thing that was recommended that I have to try. Hey yo, portion size is pretty big. I can't lie. First bite, here we go, beef chow fun. Now before you watch me eat that beef chow fun, I want to mention that this video is sponsored by Surfshark VPN. It's an app as well as a browser extension and it's just the best VPN out there. Essentially, it allows you to connect to a secure and private network while at the same time allowing you to put your location to anywhere in the world that you want for the most part. What exactly do I mean by this? Well, for example, sometimes Viv and I like to watch Netflix and chill. The other day we were watching 21 Jump Street. We wanted to watch 22 after we finished it, but it wasn't available on Netflix in the US. That's no problem. With Surfshark VPN, I was able to put my location as Canada, even though I'm in New York City. Because my network was in Canada, I was able to find 22 Jump Street there. On top of that, Surfshark VPN also encrypts all of your data while you are connected online. So all your passwords, information, maybe even feet pics of me are completely safe. And if that isn't enough to convince you, you can use Surfshark VPN across all your devices with just one account. And the best part is, is that there is no risk in trying it. So you may as well sign up and if you aren't satisfied, you'll get your money back 30 days guaranteed. And if you want to give it a go, 
I have a code money sign Eric, or you can use the link in the description to get 83% off when you sign up as well as three months free, which is an absolute deal. So try it out for yourselves and we'll get back to this video. So I was just looking, I was scouring the news. I feel like it would have broke out. Yeah, that's fire. Yo, that's good. Yeah, it's really good. The beef chop one's fire. I wish they gave more beef though, because there's not that much. Firm and chewy, and it actually tastes good too on its own. Now let me try the carbonara. First bite, here we go. It's pretty good. I think Bib makes it better though. So, I will get the beef chow fun again though. <coughs> this got caught in the back of my throat. I would really like to eat this with uh, some hot sauce, some spice. I have never been. Thank you. Oh, let's go! And there were no like white people inside. Mmm, so good with the racha. Amy Lightfo on Instagram. Thank you for the recommendation. The chicken wings were pretty good. The golden lava toast was phenomenal. The beef chaff bun was also amazing. I mean, we're not done with our meal yet. We got one more thing coming out. Baked fried rice with seafood and cream sauce. I thought the chow fun and the carbonara had a big portion size. This is huge. It's thick, bro. Oh my God. Okay, the only thing is, is like I'm extremely full right now. Yes. First bite, here we go. Hold on, I gotta eat the seafood to know. Thank you. I got the mango smoothie because it's just so good. No means is it bad. It's just kind of like whatever. This mango smoothie is so fire. <laughs> this thing is massive, actually. Wait, Viv, do you think this is massive? Viv thinks this is massive, so if you're, if you're around this size. After that, I'm getting the golden lava toast. What? What? We're sharing it. Yeah. Dude, there's no way I'm not getting that golden lava toast again. Remember when you said you didn't want the smoothie? You know, I literally had like three little rabbit bites. You know what I like? Let's go on the I bottom because it's like frozen. You have huchukado in your teeth. <laughs> <laughs> I just spit on her hand. Viv really wants this jacket, which costs a thousand dollars. So I told her, you're out of your goddamn mind. But I also told her one day I'll, I'll get it for you. This, today is not the day. Can we actually also get the uh, Golden Lava French Toast, please? Are you realizing her game? Yeah. Thank you. This is nasty, but it is so good. Like that is an obscene amount of butter too. Oh my God. You're not eating any? Nice. Yeah, baby. Oh, give me that custard too. Oh, look at that beauty. Second bite, here we go. Mm. I got that little pocket in my stomach for dessert. So good. It's the custard. Last bite, here we go. Get the French toast for sure. So here is the receipt. It just keeps going. It's not too bad. Dude, all that food and it was $103 before tax. Pretty good price, man. Pretty good price. For everything that we got, it's insane. Thank you very much for the recommendation. I appreciate it. And I agree with you. The beef chow fun and the golden lava toast were amazing. The chicken wings, they were okay, but the other two, they were really, really good. And I would recommend anyone to come here. Another thing that you'll notice is that everyone that is waiting in line here is Asian, which is a stark contrast to the line waiting outside of Greenbow, which is not even that good. This place slaps. I'll give it like a nine out of 10. The French toast itself was like a 10 out of 10, easy. Mango smoothie, 10 out of 10. Price, 10 out of 10. Portion size, 10 out of 10. I only give it a nine out of 10 because some of it was like, whatever, like the fries and the carbonara. We got two more restaurants to go to that other people on Instagram have recommended. So thank you very much for that recommendation. And hopefully the other uh, places that we go to in this video will be just as good, if not better. But how could it be better than this?
Hi, Terry. Terry, what do you have to say for yourself? Terry, would you like to say anything, Terry? What would you like to say, Yaki? Stop! I'm gonna shower now, but then I'm also gonna show you guys my new skincare routine that Viv put me on. Not sponsored, by the way. None of this is sponsored, but Viv got me this Laniji uh, toner and cream, and she taught me how to use it, so. I tap it on my face, like this. I use Viv's, uh, the ordinary hyalur hyalur hyaluronic. hyaluronic acid, 2% plus B5. Forehead, the nose, the cheek, the other cheek, the chin. The purpose of this acid, I don't know, Viv just said to use it, so I use it. And I just rub it in. I put it up, Viv says to go up. For the last step, I'm using La Roche Posay, uh, La Roche Posay, uh, Tolerian <laughs> Double Repair <laughs> Face Moisturizer. Just using two fingers. I used to go like this to put it on, but Viv said that when I put on my lotion, I should be stroking up like this. And there you have it. Now we have to figure out where we are going to eat. And I'm looking at the Instagram story replies and I see by Jin Julima, Hanoi House. Best pho ever. Ask for the pickled garlic. So let's go check out Hanoi House. We are here at the East Village at Hanoi House. It's pretty big actually. Viv just went inside, but this is my first time eating here. And uh, apparently this is the best pho in New York City according to Jin Julie Ma. Yo, I can't lie, it smells good in here. Hello. Unfortunately, Viv and I are stuck in this little corner and the lighting is not great, but hope that's okay with you guys. Let's check out the, the menu. One of the first things that came out, which is the oxtail bun me. And it's pretty fat, and it looks more filled out than other bun me's, I guess. It also does come with a side of pho broth, which you're supposed to dip it in, apparently? We'll see. Is it good? It's really good? First bite, here we go. Mm. Yo, yo, what the? This is the best bun me I've ever had. Yeah, it is. So the oxtail? Why is it wet? I told a bitch I'm him quick playing. Trying to ride with a boss with bitch get in. I love that it's braised. And I love the juices that drip out. It's so good. It's so simple. It's so good. Also, excuse me, you guys have a uh, pickled garlic? Right here, bud. Oh, you just, <laughs> oh, thank you. Here's the uh, the pickled garlic that was recommended, so hopefully that's good. And then Viv and I also got some spring rolls. Viv's just a big fan of spring rolls. First bite, here we go. It's fire. I, don't know, I like garlic to begin with. It's fire. And now the spring roll. First bite, here we go. Mmm. That's a really good spring roll. Here is the house special pho. It's got every meat on the menu. And you can see we got some rare filet mignon on the side here. Gonna let that cook in the broth for a little bit. Yeah, it looks delicious. It smells so good too. Hopefully the noodles are good. But the real killer here is the bone marrow. They literally just gave you bone marrow with crispy dough, and then you can just dip it together and eat it. And apparently it's really rich, really fatty and buttery. First bite, here we go. The broth is very uh, clean. It's not as like beefy as I would want it to be. No, it's good, it's good. It's just, it's definitely not bad. Like, it's very good. But it's just missing something. And also, I came in here with the expectation that it was uh, the best pho in New York City, so yeah, I think I do need some spice on this. Now the noodles, first bite, here we go. Mm. It's good pho. I'm just being really, uh, you know, critical right now. It's good. I don't think it's worth $25 though, no. 
Let me try the meat though. Mmm. Yeah. Mm. Oh yeah. That's some quality meat. That was actually really good. Mmm. That filet was so good. Wow, the meat is phenomenal actually. Here is the bone marrow. First bite, here we go. That's delicious. It's like, the dough is delicious, but that bone marrow, that is straight butter, bro. That is delicious. Oh my God. Oh, I forgot there's oxtail in this too. Same meat as the bun meat. Mm. The meat in the pho. 10 out of 10. Ah, a good meal. I'm not gonna finish the broth though. I'm gonna have to say, eight out of 10. What'd you think of Hanoi House? <laughs> it was pretty good. I don't think it was amazing, but I definitely think, you know, if you like bone marrow and you like the whole idea of that, like you should go eat it. It's very hip, all right? It's very hip and I- Wait, we're not synced up right now. Oh. I'm going a little oh too God, hard. Eric, be careful. I thought the pho was good. Uh, I, you know me, I like clean broths, but it still felt really heavy to me. I think it's the meat for me, and I'm a vegetable girl. Okay. I'm a meat guy. I like meat in my mouth. So Hanoi is in the northern region, and their pho is typically cleaner and lighter than, uh, than Saigon pho. I think when I was tasting it, it was just a different kind of pho broth than I was used to. That pho is really good. I'm a big fan. I actually really, really enjoyed it. But is it the best in New York City? I don't know. I think my biggest gripe though was the price, like $26 for a bowl of pho. That's kind of ridiculous, man. So will I be going back? Yes, for the bun mi, because that bun mi was fire. Best bun mi I've ever had in my life. I like the traditional bun mi. Yeah, I like that fat braised oxtail with the cilantro. I like the, the pate and the meats and the pickle, yeah. daikon radish. Yeah, so. And I like you. Okay. Will you marry me? Yes. <laughs> yeah, we got one more place to go. Hey, you want to push me? Sure. La 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 la. Romantic Sunday. La 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 la. I am in Brooklyn right now. Well, I live here, but. Uh, well, not here. I, well, I live in Brooklyn, just not in this area, which is called Clinton Hill. And if you say it fast, it sounds like uh, Clinton Hill, Clit, Clit Hill. So on my way here, I had uh, trouble finding it. <laughs> At this restaurant right here, well, I'll probably zoom in because you can barely see it, but it is called Chef Katsu in Brooklyn. This place specializes in uh, katsu, like chicken katsu, pork katsu. I mean, I don't know. I'm just assuming because it has katsu in the name. Unfortunately, this place was recommended to me by a man named Yokothin, who was a longtime viewer in my Twitch chat. He was kind of weird, but he was subscribed for a long time, so that, that made him cool. I don't know if he's working there right now. Anyway, let's check out Chef Katsu. I got myself the pork katsu burger, and then also the chicken teriyaki burger, and then they've got like a, a bowl or something. But hopefully it's good. We did get the funny number. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention. This is my date right here. As if it changed ever. This is my first meal today. I am starving. Oh, I forgot to mention. We also did get fries. First thing came out and it is a yuzu mint lemonade, which is a combination of flavors that I'm sure I'm gonna like. Uh, that's good. That's real good. You wanna try it? She's very sensitive to sour things. Yeah, I know you don't like sour. That's why I'm always sweet to you. Wait, but, but I am sweet to you. Wait, wait, you, you just nodded like I was forcing you to nod. Yokathan. Viv thinks Yokathan is actually in the kitchen, but his back is turned towards us and we can't really tell him. We don't want to be racist. Yokathan. Oh, he's, 
Mike's not here. Our order just came out. I actually don't know if this is the pork katsu and this is the chicken katsu. I also got fries and then Viv got a salmon. What is it? Ikura bowl. Oh, ik salmon, and, salmon and ikura bowl. Interesting. And how is it? All right, well, hopefully this burger is good. Thank you. Oh. Oh, shit. I knew it. I, you know, I called his name like two times. Yo, what up, Yokathan? What a nice guy. He gave us this on the house, but I don't know what this is. Probably dessert. I'll save it for later. Dude, I called out Yoko's name twice, and he just completely ignored me. I didn't think it was him. It's fairly, it's, it's decent size. It's thick as hell. Like the bun is huge. And it's a $10, so not too crazy expensive for New York. First bite, here we go. Mmm, that's definitely the pork. Mmm, dude, where do I even begin? There's miso sauce in this burger. Mm. What kind of bread is this? Yo, Yokathan, what's the bun? What's the bun? It's a brioche. Brioche? Okay, okay. What I really like about it is that the miso sauce like permeates into the bun and it makes it so soft. You know? You, you know when you dip like bread into like tomato soup or something? And the tomato soup soaks into the bread. So good. It is a little thick, so it fills you up more. And I wish the pork katsu was a little thicker as well. But the pork's well made. Katsu breading, crisp, nice. It is not mayo heavy, which, you know, maybe you're into. I'm personally not, so it's a plus for me. I'm a fan. Pork katsu burger was fire. Gonna try the chicken now. So this is the chicken teriyaki burger. So this chicken is not fried. I think it might be grilled. And then there's some onions on it with mayo teriyaki sauce. I am a little disappointed in the size of it because the chicken isn't the biggest, especially compared to the pork. First bite, here we go. Mmm, mmm, mmm. That's good. Mm hmm. Oh, what? Yeah, the chicken tastes good. It actually does. Mmm. Yeah. I'm also starving, so that might be it. I definitely do prefer the pork katsu. It was just bigger, it was wetter, it was more flavorful. I would get this one if I was like on a diet. Now I just gotta kill these fries and we're done with them. Oh wait, no. We got dessert after two. Time for dessert. This is a yuzu cheesecake courtesy of Yokuthin. Thank you very much. And we're gonna be eating it now. Oh, it's really tough. However the ratatouille song goes. Beautiful piece right here. Perfectly cut by yours truly. First bite, here we go. He knows me well. That cheesecake is fire. It's so airy for a cheesecake. Here, babe, you want a bite? No? Oh, how about this? What? Last bite, here we go. Good meal. Bye, Nathan. Peace. Now I'm not gonna sit here and tell you guys that it's like the best thing I've ever had. It's not, it's definitely not. I enjoyed it, I enjoyed it a lot, but it's not like the best thing ever. If I was like in college or even a high school student and I had like 10 bucks to spend on a meal, like I would definitely go there for sure. I'm gonna give it like a... I'm gonna give it a 7.5. Okay, I gave it an eight out of 10 because I like the prices and I like the food. Anyway guys, that's it for uh, Chef Katsu, I guess. Is that it for the video? Do I end it here? Full moon tonight. It's werewolf time. All right. Oh! Yeah, that's the end of the video. I'm sorry. I had to end it there. And if you want to see more of this, then uh, please let me know. Otherwise, I'll just go back to vlogs and like food reviews. And uh, if you do guys, uh, if you guys do want to see more of this, instead of asking people on my Instagram story, I would like to ask you guys, the viewers, so if there are other New York City restaurants that you want to see me go to or you're curious about and you want me to show you, uh, please comment below any recommendations that you guys may have. Tell me why I should go there. Tell me something I should get there. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. I I'm really sorry for taking a one month break, but it's been good for my mental health, you know? You guys have been starving though, so I'm going to do my best to post as much as possible in April. Uh, I did promise on my Instagram story that- Yaki! I did promise on my Instagram-
I did promise on my Instagram story that I would post four videos in April, so I will definitely try my best to do that. I'll see you guys next week. Peace.